I'm here with Hart Hansen and Ian Toynton, exec producers of Bones. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome yourself. Your colleague David Boreanaz was here a short while ago. Yeah. And uh, told me about some new characters coming in from his past. One in particular in the season premiere. I believe that the character he's referring to is uh, an ex-priest. Um, uh, his ex-confessor when he was a sniper in the Rangers named um, Aldo Coulter. I believe that's who he's... Uh, we have not cast the part yet, uh, but it, uh, we have to quickly. It's in the we first did, episode. Yeah. And he comes back... Why? We left um, Booth last year with a, a terrible secret that he can't tell anyone, which is that Pallant is uh, not letting him marry uh, Brennan. And that, in effect, it's a lie for a Catholic like Booth every time he's talking uh, to Brennan. And he just, he, need, he finds himself seeking out his old um, spiritual advisor, who is now runs a bar, um, uh, to to try and and talk things out with him, and they have a they have a very they have a very close, very old relationship. As he, I think it's all right to say, as he points out to Brennan, as Coulter point, uh, points out to Brennan in the season opener, that he he knows Booth better than she does. What is the status of Booth and Brennan's relationship when we pick up? It's not an ideal situation. They really are. Uh, they're, they're not the couple that we want them to be. Well, if I were her, I'd be like, couldn't you have just pulled me in the shower and just whispered in my ear? I think that's explained in the, in the season opener okay. why that can't happen, I think. I mean, uh, it, I, I, it is. I, yeah. he, um, he cannot risk. Booth is a good man. He cannot risk um, um, innocent lives on the, on, in the hope that Pallant won't find out. He just can't do it. Uh, but it means that Brennan knows something's wrong. Brennan knows something is very wrong that he withdrew his desire to marry her. And it's putting, it's killing Booth not to be able just to find a way to tell Brennan. And he's under the, uh, and he senses he's under surveillance the entire time. That they both are. And he may be. Things start off rough with them, but my sources are telling me that things are going to turn around this season and they may even end up finally getting married. Can you confirm or deny? Shall I confirm or deny? Um, I, yes, they are getting married this, this season. And um, I expect everyone will say, well, is it a trick? Is it a dream? It is not a trick. It is not a dream. They will have a wedding and get married this season. Wow. But I'm not telling you when. That's my one shred of self-dignity. I just have one, I just you won't have one get question. Out of me when. I only have one question. Uh -huh. When? <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you anything. <laughs> Michael Osiel, don't look him in the eyes. <laughs> he has warm brown eyes. Don't look him in the eyes. You'll tell him anything. Have you thought, though, about, I'm sure you have, what that wedding would look like? Cause, yes. Yeah. yeah. They're very unique characters, um, very unique situations. That's right. It can't, oh, yes, we have. Bastard. Can't be traditional. <laughs> <laughs> We are we are still we are still thinking about it. Yeah. Season nine. Are you looking at it as the last season? I know I ask you this every year. Every year that you ask it, we are uh, we are prepared. If it comes to that, we, we it's the uh, it, we're like vampires. We're looking at the rest of Fox's lineup and wondering how it will do. Uh, because that has an impact on whether they ask us uh, back or not, or uh, you know, we, even if w whether we go as announced to Friday nights. Um, so uh, we will we we figure that we'll know by Christmas if we're doomed or not, um, or we'll have a good guess. So we're prepared uh, for it to be the last season, but um, uh, hope that it won't be. We, n now we all want to go ten um, for some reason, except for Ian. I know. You want to go 16. Did I say 16? Yes. 16. Yeah, 16 would be nice. You hedged a little bit on the Friday night move. Is that not set in stone? No, I don't think it's set in stone. Um, uh, they've announced it for us five seasons out of eight, maybe six out of eight that we would be moving to Friday nights. And it's never happened. It's, I mean, we've rerun on Friday nights, but never, never done a first run. So, you know, that all depends on how their season goes as well. So, in a, you know, we know that other people who have shows on the network and we like them and we wish them well, but we simultaneously wish them ill so that we can, you know, stay in our Monday night slot. It's, it's, 
it's very bipolar. And just lastly, before you go, when is the wedding happening? <laughs> <laughs> Sometime this season. Yeah. It's the eyes. It's the eyes. I don't look him in the eyes. I know he's like Prince. You can't look him in the eyes. I'm Haley Steinfeld, and you're watching ENTV. Hi, my name is Kieran and Shipka, and you're watching ENTV. Aubrey Plaza, ENTV. I just touched it with my mouth. Sorry. <laughs>